Oh yeah. Check it out. So this is Donkey Kong 2 Game & Watch. Obviously, you already know that. Uh, I bought this off eBay as faulty. Let's just have a quick look at the listing. So there's a the listing. As you can see, I paid £31 for this. Now, it's um, working. These seem to go for around £70, £80, something like that. Um, so I didn't think that was too bad. So I'll just show you the description. Nintendo Game & Watch Donkey Kong 2 non-working. Game not working currently. I have tried new batteries but can see some dark Excellent. You don't need fix it. Well, actually, you do. Maybe I'll do that in the next video. Anyway, let's finish this off, and then I'll... I shall remove the cat. Game not working currently. I've tried new batteries, but can see some dark patches on top screen. Condition is used. Is it used or not working? Anyway. Um, so, I don't really know what to expect. I've literally just taken it out of the packaging. Um, I can see on the back, it's that's looks like a replacement battery cover oh it's got batteries in which is nice uh, 1983 so I mean it looks in reasonable condition a few scratches a couple of why am I still doing this with a cat here let me move the cat Right, cat removed. What was I saying? Yeah, so the condition is not bad. It has got a few scratches on the front. Um, yeah, but that's to be expected for something that's nearly 40 years old. Does look like it's been dropped a couple of times, a couple of bash marks on the corners. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. Let's open it up. Hinge is quite loose, but then I think that that's quite common. Okay, so everything appears to be lit up on the... Yeah. You can see the the patches that he's referring to. One, two, three. I'm not sure whether that's screen burn. Don't really know. Don't really know what that is. Um, but it... It seems to work. Seven, eight at a time. Um, it's very dim, but... I've never played this before, I don't really know what to do. Oh. Not that. Okay, well it does seem to work. I'm guessing it's um I'm guessing it's quite faded because because it needs new batteries. Um let's try that first. How do I stop it? How do I turn it off? Okay, so we've got some new batteries. Let's pop those in. Mm, it's still quite faint, but it's not as bad. Oh, they! I think that's a, that's damaged this display, isn't it? When you press on that, those black patches disappear. So is that is that leaking liquid? I don't think there's going to be anything I can do about that, is there? I don't know, but it's worth uh, opening up and uh, and having a look, I suppose. Right, so we've. Can I just undo these ones to get to the top screen? Or do I, yeah, I presume I can. What kind of a screw is that? Let's see if a normal flathead will work in that. I'm guessing that's a special kind of bit, but I don't. I don't know what it's called. 
but the flat head does appear to work if you get it in the right place there like that don't really want to use any tools to get this out if I don't I don't have to try one of these cheap plastic jobbies Obviously the ribbon connector there goes through from the other side. Let's try not to damage that, see if we can remove these. Okay, I guess that bit puts pressure down on the on the ribbon cable. some kind of reflective backing so let's see if we can see those marks from this side no those marks are not there now I, I, I've got to be honest I'm not a hundred percent sure how these these work so is there like a polarizing filter on these is that what's on the front there That looks pretty clean, to be honest. Okay, yeah, they are there. You just can't see them without the reflective bit behind it. Yeah, as soon as you put that on you can see it okay so just I've got this um, polarizing filter which is from a from a mobile not sure which mobile um, I just thought I'd try it just on this bottom screen if you if you look there th it's definitely darker you know it's not as faded it looks good um, so I think I could replace the polarizer and certainly in the bottom screen to, to make it look better but if you look up at the top I've not connected this up properly, which is why there's nothing up there, but those black marks are really quite prominent with that polarizer. I've taken the other one out it's here. So I, I'm guessing the liquid crystal display is actually broken itself. Now I'm not sure there's anything I can do to, to fix that. I, I think once that happens, it's it's game over. I think you can see it. if I apply the polarizer filter over the top, you can see the the screen bleed. I just wonder if it's worth. Well, it's definitely worth it because it's it's broken at the minute. I'm going to try just gently applying some pressure, see if I can get the because I think it's air. goes but then it comes back no I mean it wasn't it wasn't too bad it's, it's definitely noticeable but what a shame 
Would heating it up do anything? I would probably guess it would make it worse. I'm going to try cleaning it with some IPA. Now, I have no idea if this is going to work, but I'm going to try gently heating the screen and just applying a bit of pressure just to see if I can make this a little bit better. I mean, it might make it worse, but there's only one way to find out. Oops. Right, everything blew away there. Do you know what? It could just be me, but I don't think that looks as bad as it did when I started. I really don't know if that's going to come across on the camera. If it doesn't, then I'll probably just fast forward through it. But these, these bits do seem to have gone down a bit. I'm going to carry on with that. Is it just me or is that is that looking better? It certainly looks better down this side, doesn't it? That's definitely better, isn't it? That is definitely better. I mean, it might come back when the screen is um, when the screen cools down. Let's just leave it for a bit. Okay, so I think it might be starting to come back already. Okay, it's dried and they're still there. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if they're any better than they were before, or whether they're just exactly the same. But I don't. Th I've just been reading up online. There doesn't appear to be a way to fix them. So. Just gonna have to live with it. It's not like it's right in the middle of the screen, it is at the top. I think with if I replace the polarizer in both screens, it's gonna make it look a lot better. Because you can see in this one, just by just by adding a different polarizer. I think sort of at that angle. Look how dark the, the sprites are, it's much better than that. Yeah, I think it's sort of that angle, which is weird, but... There we go, original replacement. Yeah, you can still see them quite clearly, much more clearly than you could before as it happens. Uh, but that's because of the, the new polarizer. But like I say, they're at the top, so it's not it's not like it's right in the middle of the screen. I can live with that. There's nothing we can really do to to fix it anyway. If 
Right, that top screen definitely looks better. I hope it comes across in the camera. If you look at it compared to the bottom screen, it's, it's, it's a much nicer colour. So I'm going to do the same with the bottom one, see how that comes out. Wow. No jewels, unadjusted. So it is the same size. I wasn't sure whether it was the same as the, the top one, but it is. So we can just cut another one of those out. I do it at the same angle. That definitely looks better, doesn't it? Okay. Put the remaining screws in. So there we have it. It's, um, I mean, it's it's not perfect, but the screen is definitely better now than it was. I hope that comes across on the camera. Um, the screen at the top is still got the bleed on it, but you know, like I said before, it, it doesn't really interfere with the gameplay. So I think I can live with that. nice so yeah i'm quite pleased with that in the end um 30 quid 31 quid whatever it was and it's now it's um it's working okay you know it's the best i could have done really without another one to switch out the screen which you know i'd be looking at another 30 quid i might as well have just bought a working one so i'm i'm quite happy with that i'm not i'm not going to sell it it's for me so i'll just keep it you know i've got the donkey kong one and now I've got Donkey Kong 2. What's the other one? Donkey Kong Jr. That'll be that'll be the next on my list. Um, so yeah, that's that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more Can I Fix It videos. Thank you and goodbye.